so agriculture marketing institutions are classified as public sector institutions and cooperative institutions public sector these are owned and uh, administered by the government and cooperative these are established based on the cooperative cooperation principle now under public sector we have food corporation of india directorate of marketing and inspection cotton corporation of india youth corporation of india commission for agriculture cost and prices commodity board central warehousing corporation export inspection council council of state agriculture marketing board field export promotion council state trading corporation and under cooperative institution we have nafed that is national agriculture cooperative marketing federation then ncdc that is national cooperative development corporation national consumer cooperative federation and state cooperative marketing federation so first let us see about the food corporation of india it was established under food corporation act 1964 the act was passed in 1964 and it was established in the year 1965 so it works towards the procurement of food grains and their effective distribution throughout the country at affordable price through public distribution system so yahan pe fca kya kaam karta hai wo food grains procure karta hai aur effective way mein distribute karta hai at affordable price through public distribution system then objective of this institution is first to make provision for providing remunerative prices to the farmers matlab farmers se right price mein purchase karna to maintain the buffer stock jo bhi buffer stock required hota hai food security ke liye use uh, fci maintain karta hai aur next objective kya hai to ensure the availability of food grains at affordable price to the poor section of the society जो भी पोअर सेक्शन ऑफ सोसाइटी है उन्हें अफोर्डेबल प्राइस में फूड ग्रेन्स प्रोवाइड करना और इंटरवेन इन द मार्केट फॉर प्राइस स्टेबिलाईजेशन मतलब जब प्राइस बढ़ेगा तो वो, वो कम करें करने के लिए कोशिश करेंगे और जब कम होगा तो वो एम एस पी पे परचेज करेंगे इससे वो प्राइस स्टेबिलाईज करते हैं फार्मर्स को सेव करते हैं देन मेजर फंक्शन आर प्रोक्योरमेंट दैट इज वो फूड ग्रेन्स प्रोक्योर करता है फार्मर से उन्हें स्टोर करता है प्रिजर्व करता है इसके बाद ट्रांसपोर्टेशन करता है फ्रॉम प्लेस गोडाउन टू द पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम जहाँ पे वो डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करते हैं फंक्शन ऑफ एफ सी आई नेक्स्ट वी हैव द डायरेक्टरेट ऑफ मार्केटिंग एंड इंस्पेक्शन इट इज एन अटैच ऑफिस ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री एंड इट इज हेडेड बाय एग्रीकल्चर मार्केटिंग एडवाइजर टू द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इसका हेड कौन होगा एग्रीकल्चर मार्केटिंग एडवाइजर होगा head office of dmi it is at faridabad there is branch head office it is at nagpur regional offices there are four regional offices one is at chennai delhi guntur and mumbai then there is uh, central agmark laboratory it is at nagpur along with this there are 57 sub offices and 22 regional agmark laboratories that are spread all over the country then functions of dmi first is grading grading yahan pe kya hota hai वो जो एग्रीकल्चर प्रोड्यूस होते हैं या एग्रीकल्चर कमोडिटीज की जिसकी ग्रेडिंग और स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन होते हैं उसका सारा एग काम जो होता है वो डी एम आई देखते हैं तो एगमार्क लेबोरेटरीज ये ग्रेडिंग करने के लिए स्टैंडर्ड्स मेंटेन करने के लिए जो भी लेबोरेटरीज लगेगी वो सारी फैसिलिटीज डी एम आई प्रोवाइड करेगी नेक्स्ट इज द कोल्ड स्टोरेज डी एम आई इज वेरी एक्टिव इन ऑफरिंग द कंसल्टेंटी सर्विस रिलेटेड टू कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड ऑपरेशन ऑफ कोल्ड स्टोरेज ना यहाँ प्रिजर्व करने एग्रीकल्चर कमोडिटीज क्या होते हैं बहुत सारे परिशेबल इन नेचर होते हैं उन्हें स्टोर करने के लिए हमें कोल्ड स्टोरेज लगेगा तो उस कोल्ड स्टोरेज एस्टेब्लिशमेंट और कैसे ऑपरेट करने के लिए वो कंसल्टेंसी सर्विस देन इट ऑल्सो ऑर्गेनाइज वर्कशॉप कॉन्फ्रेंस सेमिनार लेक्चर फॉर टारगेट रिलेटेड टू कोल्ड स्टोरेज विच और सब्जेक्ट रिलेटेड टू कोल्ड स्टोरेज पे वर्कशॉप कॉन्फ्रेंस वगैरह अरेंज करते हैं नेक्स्ट इज मीट फूड प्रोडक्ट्स DMI implements the meat food products order for ensuring required hygiene and sanitary conditions related to production import export and meat food in the country jo bhi country se export import hoga meat food products ka uske hygiene aur sanitary conditions correct tarah se follow kar rahe hai ki nahi ye sara dekhne ka kaam DMI ka hota hai then research DMI conduct wide range wide range of surveys for various types of agriculture products Like food grains, oil seed, vegetables, so उसपे सर्वे किया जाता है Next is Cotton Corporation of India. It is 
द अंडरटेकिंग ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया अंडर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इट फंक्शन इट इज एंगेज इन द मार्केटिंग ऑफ इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड क्वार्टर इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड क्वार्टर ने इसका मार्केटिंग में वो इन्वॉल्व होते हैं एनुअल टर्न ओवर ऑफ सी सी आई फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड क्रोर टू फोर थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड क्रोर इट प्रोवाइड नेसेसरी सपोर्ट टू ऑल कॉटन ग्रोइंग स्टेट जो भी कंट्री के कॉटन ग्रोइंग स्टेट है उन्हें जो भी सपोर्ट लगेगा कॉटन प्रोडक्शन में वो सारा सपोर्ट सी सी आई से मिलता है देन सी सी आई एसिस्ट इंडियन टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री इन प्रोक्योरमेंट ऑफ सुपीरियर क्वालिटी ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल जो भी कॉटन लगेगा सुपीरियर क्वालिटी का वो इंडियन टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री को जो भी रॉ मटेरियल लगेगा उससे प्रोक्योर करने में सी सी आई हेल्प करते हैं तो फंक्शन क्या है पहले तो इट प्रोवाइड द मार्केटिंग सपोर्ट टू कॉटन फार्मर जो भी कॉटन फार्मर कॉटन ग्रोइंग फार्मर है उन्हें मार्केटिंग फैसिलिटीज प्रोवाइड करते हैं बाद में फार्मर्स को अच्छे दाम मिले कॉटन के लिए इसके लिए कोशिश करता है और परचेज इज कॉटन टू फुलफिल एक्सपोर्ट कमिटमेंट जो भी एक्सपोर्ट कमिटमेंट किए उसके लिए कॉटन परचेज करते हैं दिस इज द फंक्शन ऑफ सी सी आई नेक्स्ट वी हैव जूट कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया इट वॉज एस्टेब्लिश इन ईयर नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन इट वॉज एस्टेब्लिश टू प्रोवाइड मिनिमम सपोर्ट प्राइस टू द जूट ग्रोवर्स इन इंडिया जो भी जूट ग्रोवर्स है उन्हें मिनिमम सपोर्ट प्राइस देने के लिए एस्टेब्लिश किया गया था इट एम इज टू Strengthen raw jute sector by providing various incentives and assistance to farmers. जो भी jute growing farmers है, उन्हें encourage करने के लिए incentives या जो भी assistance लगेगा, वो jute corporation of India provide करते हैं. This uh, this is uh, institution it is successfully operating in jute growing states like Assam, West Bengal, Bihar, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Tripura and Meghalaya. Then what are the functions? First is MSP for the jute. It's ensures the msp and protects the farmers against exploitation and it helps jute cultivator to produce better yield both qualitatively and quantitatively quality was bhi achhi honi chahiye quantity bhi bahut honi chahiye ye jute cultivators ko help karta hai then maintain the database jo bhi jute production jute marketing ya jute industry se related jo bhi data hai wo sara database ye maintain karte hai then plays important role in stabilizing raw jute prices in the Country. Next, we have the Commission for Agriculture Cost and Prices, that is CACP. It was earlier known as Agriculture Price Commission, that is APC. It was set up on January 1965 to advise the government on matters pertaining to pricing policy of important agriculture products. जो भी pricing policy है, उसके बारे में advise करने के लिए ये इसे set up किया गया था. The first major function of CACP is it recommends msp for the major agriculture products jo bhi msp government har saal har season mein declare karti hai wo sare recommendation cacp se jata hai so before on what basis msp is calculated first is the cost of production then what is the market trends change in input prices demand and supply and international prices taking account into these factors the msp for particular product is fixed then they conducts the on field surveys and collect the relevant data from the farmers now agar msp unhe suggest karne hai to unke paas data rehna chahiye to on field survey jo bhi hota hai wo sab csp conduct karta hai next is the central warehousing corporation it is the biggest public warehousing corporation in india yahan pe warehousing corporation sabse bada warehousing corporation hai it was established in 1957 it has strongest network of 482 warehouses across the country and who possess the storage capacity of almost 10.4 million tons in its storage capacity function kya hogi first to function kya hai wo sare food grains ya uh, sare commodities industrial warehouses in sare uh, warehousing facilities provide karega it provides services like clearing and forwarding transportation distribution it extends consultancy consultancy services to other institutions for setting up their own warehouse other uh, private you know, agencies they unhe apna own warehouse establish karna hai ya construct karna hai to uske liye consultancy service provide karta hai next is export inspection council it was established under the export quality control and inspection act 1963 purpose kya tha iska overall development of india's export trade through quality control and inspection quality control or inspection se indian exports ka indian export 
Next we have coffee board. It was set up in year 1942 under the Act of Parliament. It also takes various activities related to coffee. Now it regularly participates in beverage exhibitions both inside and outside India. The Central Coffee Research Institute carries a variety of research for improving the quality of Indian coffee. Next we have Spices Board. It was established by Government of India under the Spices Board Act of 1986. This board was established to consolidate the position of spices industry and for extensive marketing of the products. Jobi, for spice industry in India, so wo ek khatta lane mein aur iske marketing karne ke liye ye board establish kiya tha. Function kya hai? Implement various schemes aimed at production, development, and post harvest improvement of spices, and to carry out various research activities to improve the crop production and quality maintenance of spices. Next, we have rubber board. It was established under the Rubber Act 1947. This is responsible for overall development of rubber industry in India. So, functions care first various activities related to development of rubber industry, then marketing of rubber in rubber, then training for achieving better plantation and cultivation, and collect the statistical data from plantation owners, rubber manufacturer, workers, etc. Next, Coconut Development Board, it was established on January 12, 1981. It works for integrated coconut production and marketing across the country. Function care overall development of coconut industry, con concrete measures for application of modern technology for coconut production and providing financial assistance for purpose of bringing more areas under the coconut cultivation. These are the function of Coconut Development Board. Next, we have Tobacco Board. It was established in the year 1975 under the Act of Parliament. It was established to improve the quality of tobacco and its marketing. Annual production is 700 million kilograms. The board committed towards the promoting the Indian tobacco as highly quality product in global market. Next, we have Central Silk Board. It is the statutory body established in 1948 by Act of Parliament. It is working under the administrative control of Ministry of Textile Government of India. Functions kya hai silk board ke? First of promoting the development of silk industry to create greater opportunity for gainful employment and improved level of income. Employment generate bhi honi chahiye aur income bhi improve honi chahiye sericulture uh, farmers. Then undertaking assistance and encouraging scientific technology and economic research. Improving the marketing of raw skill. Raw silk, then collection of statistics. India emerged as a leader in world market for silk. So to advise central government on all matters related to development of silk industry, including import and export of raw silk, to prepare and furnish the uh, reports relating to silk industry. This is also the function of central silk board. Next, we have the under cooperative institution. First institution was National Agriculture Cooperative Marketing Federation of India Limited, that is NAPED. It was established on 2nd October 1958. It was registered under Multi-State Cooperative Society Act and at present Dr. Bijendra Singh, ex-MLA, the chairman of NAPED. NAPED was set to objective to promote cooperative marketing of agriculture produce. Cooperative marketing for encourage Karnekile NAPED was set, set up here. So functions kya hai? to facilitate, coordinate, and promote the marketing and trading activities of cooperative institutions, partners, and associates in agriculture and other commodities. Second, to undertake or promote on its own or behalf of its member institutions or government or government organization, interstate and international trade, to undertake purchase, sale, and supply of agriculture marketing in Processing requisite, that is supply of agriculture, agriculture produce the marketing, processing, uske liye jo bhi finance lagega, jo bhi help karega, sara nafed karta hai. To act as warehouseman under the warehousing act. Agar farmer ko un, apne grain ko grain store karna hai, to uske liye wo warehouse jaisa bhi act karta hai. Then to act as agent of any government agency for cooperative institution for purchase, sale, storage and distribution of agriculture, horticulture, or animal husbandry produce, agriculture requisite, and other consumer goods.
Next, we have NCDC, that is National Cooperative Development Corporation. It was established in 1963. Sri Sandeep Kumar Naik is the MD of the NCDC at present. Sri Sandeep Kumar Naik. Plan functions, planning, promoting and financing programs related to production, processing, marketing, import, export of agriculture produce, then also agriculture input. planning, promoting or financing. Supply of consumer goods and collection, processing, marketing, storage and export of minor forest products. This is the NCDC function. And NCDC will now uh, able to finance the projects in rural industrial sectors for certain notified services in the rural areas like water conservation, irrigation, micro irrigation. And loans, it provides loans and grants to the state government for financing primary and secondary level schools. So these are the functions of NCDC. Next we have National Institute of Agriculture Marketing, that is NIAM. It is in Jaipur. Which, uh, it was established on 8 8 1988 that is 8 august 1988 to so, argument agriculture marketing infrastructure of economy through programs of teaching research and consult consultancy services the main function of this is to design and conduct training course appropriate to specific identified needs of the personal and enterprise and institution that they serve so, the, uh, training types of training provide to undertake research to demonstrate and replicate better management techniques in field of agriculture marketing. Demonstrate karna, replicate karna, better ma management techniques apply karna agriculture marketing. Is the kaam hota. To provide consultancy services for formulating investment projects, then to offer educational programs in agricultural marketing for supplementing the existing facilities. These are the functions of MIAM. Next, we have the Agriculture Produce Grading and Mark, uh, Marking Act 1937. It empowers the central government to fix quality standard known as AGMARC standard to prescribe the terms and conditions for using AGMARC. So far, grade standards 277 agriculture commodities for AGMARC, uh, AGMARC grade. Diya jata hai. Next, we have the High Power Committee on Agriculture Marketing. It was constituted in January 1992 under the chairman of Sri Shankar Lal Guru. Then transfer of subject of agriculture marketing. In now 19 on 19 December 1998, the subject agriculture marketing it was transferred to Department of Agriculture and Cooperation Ministry of Agriculture, Government of India. Next, we'll see about the international institution that is GATT. General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade. Written out a conference of 1944, they have recognized the need of for an institution to oversee the liberalization of free trade. 1944, the Britain would be a conference with you. Uh, an international organization that will encourage free trade to liberalize. Kare. This is 1940. In uh, this meeting, we discussion ke baad, General Agreement on Trade and Tariff was established in 1947 at Geneva, Switzerland. There have been several rounds of negotiation between 1947 and 90, uh, up to 1994. 1947 to 1994, there were many rounds. Till 1964, negotiations were conducted on tariff rules, trade policies under GATT. But in 1982, US suggested the new items such as agriculture and service sectors for inclusion in the discussion. Then in 1894, Dunkel draft was discussed. According to this draft, WTO was established on 1st January 1995 with headquarters at Geneva. GATT was dissolved and on the place of GATT, WTO was established. WTO has three divisions. First is ministerial level conference, which yeah. Once in two years, those sal me ek bar milte some policy decisions lene ke liye. Then general council jo hai, wo all members jo handle day to day work. And two bodies hai, dispute settlement bodies and trade policy review body. Yeh the two bodies WTO ke under kam karte. 
then main functions of wdo in addition to goods it covers the trades and services that is through trips and streams not only means yahan pe jo commodity hai uska hi trading nahi balki services ka bhi trading include kiya hai then dispute settlement system is faster and more automatic aims at solving trade problems jo bhi dispute settlement system hai wo bahut faster hote hain और ऑटोमेटिक है एंड डब्ल्यूडीओ हैज ग्लोबल स्टेट्स फैमिलियर टू आईएमएफ एंड वर्ल्ड बैंक जितना वर्ल्ड बैंक इंपॉर्टेंट है उतना डब्ल्यूडीओ भी इंपॉर्टेंट है देन अंडर दिस डब्ल्यूडीओ देयर इज एग्रीमेंट ऑन एग्रीकल्चर इट वाज साइंड बाय एज अ पार्ट ऑफ उरुग्वे राउंड एग्रीमेंट इन अप्रैल 1994 जो उरुग्वे में 1994 में राउंड हुआ था उसमें ये साइन किया था इट केम इनटू फोर्स विद इफेक्ट फ्रॉम 1 जनवरी 1995 it aim to remove trade barriers and to promote transparent market access and integration of global markets agreement on agriculture stand uh, on on three pillars ye kyu aoa that is agreement on agriculture kyu aaya tha wo trade barriers ko remove karke transparent marketing system establish karne ke liye agreement aaya tha is agreement ke teen pillar hai first is market access second is domestic support and third is export subsidy under domestic support yahan kya hai it calls for reduction in domestic subsidies that distorts the free trade and fair price jo yahan domestic support mein unhone kya bola jo bhi domestic subsidies di jati hai free trade ya fair price mein wo sari band karni chahiye under this provision aggregate measurement of support that is aml it was reduced to 20% over period of 6 years by developed countries and 13% over the period of 10 years in developing countries jo bhi hum subsidies dete hain wo developing countries mein aane wale 6 saal mein 20% kam honi chahiye aur developing countries mein 10 saal mein 13% kam honi chahiye under this subsidies are categorized jo bhi subsidies hai wo teen categories mein divide hote hain green box amber box and blue box ग्रीन बॉक्स में क्या आता है सब्सिडीज दैट डू नॉट डिस्टर्ब ट्रेड और एट मोस्ट कॉज मिनिमम डिस्टर्बेशन जो ट्रेड को डिस्टर्ब नहीं करेगा या मिनिमम डिस्टर्ब करेगा उसे हम ग्रीन बॉक्स सब्सिडीज कहते हैं दे आर गवर्नमेंट फंडेड एंड मस्ट इन्वॉल्व प्राइस सपोर्ट दे आल्सो इंक्लूड एनवायरमेंटल प्रोटेक्शन एंड रीजनल डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम्स ग्रीन बॉक्स सब्सिडीज आर देयर फॉर अलाउड विदाउट लिमिट्स provided they comply with the small uh, policy specific criteria that the green box jo subsidies hai jahan uske koi limit nahi hai lekin ek policy specific criteria hai amber box mein kya hota hai all domestic support measures considered to disturb production and trade and fall to amber box as all domestic support expect those to blue in blue and green एक्सेप्ट ब्लू एंड ग्रीन में जो भी सारे डोमेस्टिक सपोर्ट है वो सारे एम्बर बॉक्स में आते हैं देन ब्लू बॉक्स में कहते हैं एम्बर बॉक्स विथ कंडीशन जो भी सब्सिडीज है वो ब्लू बॉक्स में आते हैं सच कंडीशन आर डिजाइन टू रिड्यूस द डिस्टर्शन एनी सपोर्ट दैट वू नॉर्मली बी इन एम्बर बॉक्स इज प्लेस्ड इन ब्लू बॉक्स इफ द सपोर्ट ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्स फार्मर्स टू मिनिज द प्रोडक्शन अगर एम्बर बॉक्स में से हम कोई लिमिटेशन लगा रहे हैं तो वो क्या हो जाएगा वो ब्लू बॉक्स में आ जाएगा next we have the market access market access for goods in wto means condition tariff and non tariff measures agreed by members of the and for the entry of specific goods into their markets market access means kya kya wto ke condition rakhte hai tariff aur non tariff measures ke jahan pe jo bhi members hai unko entry issue hai the market access requires the tariff fix by individual countries and be cut progressively to allow the free trade jo bhi free trade allow karne ke liye individual countries hai unse tariff lena cha lene ka ye market access hai and it also required countries to remove non tariff barriers and convert them into tariff barriers the next we have the export subsidy subsidy on inputs of agriculture making export cheaper or other incentives for export such as import duty remission etc are included in the under export subsidy export jo bhi subsidy ki di jati hai input ki so that export cheaper ho jaye exportable quantity cheaper ho jaye aur import jo hai wo kam ho jaye iske liye hum export subsidy kehte hain this are can result in dumping of highly subsidized products in other country and damage the domestic agriculture 
of the other country now india has no obligation to reduce the domestic support or subsidies currently extended to agriculture jo bhi agriculture mein subsidy ke support diya hai indian government ne wo band karne ke abhi tak to unki koi idea nahi hai and export subsidy has been extended in india no export subsidy has been extended in india then agreement of on application of sanitary and phytosanitary measures that is sps this is also part of wto sps it deals with the standard for food safety and animal and plant health sanitary and phytosanitary food safety ke related jo bhi standards hai ye sps mein aate now wto encourage members country to use international standards or guidelines where they exit and names some uh, examples are given given like okay? codex elementary commission is named for food safety it is an intergovernmental body of fao and who then international office of epizootic for animal health fao secretariat for international plant protection convention for plant health and higher standards are based on the scientific justification which is based on risk assessment the next we have the trade related intellectual property right that is tip sps if we have seen it is related to food safety and sanitary measures trade related intellectual property rights these are identified by tip agreement governed by the wto yahan pe bahut sare trade related intellectual property rights rehte hain jaise ki patent copyright trademark design trade secret geographical indication this is uh, this all comes under trade related intellectual 